This is the Fort Gas Slim Fader Variable ND Filter. Yes, a very long name. So let's talk about why you need an ND filter and why and talk about this ND filter in particular. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, Alex Hede here and this is Dynamic Range and by the title of this video, we are going to be reviewing the Fort Gas Slim Fader Variable ND Filter. So, by the way, disclaimer, if you're not a photographer or videographer but you still click this video to watch, I love that, thank you for clicking this video and stick around, you might actually learn something. Now, if you don't know what an ND filter is, to put it plainly, it's basically sunglasses for your camera lens. Its main purpose is to darken the image or the video your camera is capturing without changing the exposure settings. There are now there are so many brands of any filters, there are variable NDs like the one we have here. There are ones that are not variable that they're just one single density throughout. And yeah some can be quite expensive, some can be quite cheap. But for us this photo version is actually an inexpensive version. So let's talk about it. But first, why would you need an ND filter? As I said in the beginning, they are like sunglasses for your camera lens. There are certain looks and things that photographers and photographers want to achieve in beautiful bokeh, long exposures and to achieve these settings, naturally on your own, the camera exposure is, is, is going to be too bright, right? So that's where an ND filter comes in. You just place this little piece of glass over your camera lens and it naturally darkens the image for you while maintaining that exact look you want to achieve. In, in, instead of having to change your settings to like a different thing so that you you can get a level of exposure. It's basically something that if you know what you're doing, if you know what you're doing in a as a photographer or filmmaker, you should have an ND filter. I recommend that if you're into video or photo, I mean if you're into video or photo and you know what you're doing, you should get an ND filter. This thing, this piece of thing here, is a must-have in your camera bag. You need it, you must need it, and you always need it. Alright, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about this particular filter now. This particular filter, the Fortka Variable ND filter. I will leave a link in the description below if you want to get this for yourself. I got it from Jumia. If you're in Nigeria or Africa, Jumia is the way to go. I don't know, but I will leave a link also for Amazon if you want to get this one on Amazon too, if I can find it. So basically, this I got it this for like about 5,000 Naira, which is like equivalent to that in dollars. So this is actually the version, and like, some people would advise you not to get the cheaper ones because of so there are some certain things that work or like just branding. But I believe that when you start getting up to those NFTs that are costing like 200 300 dollars, I think you're just buying into the brand name. The same way you can get something um, of equal level at this price, you're gonna get something of like double the price. Sometimes you just branding, not all the time, sometimes you just branding. And actually watch reviews on this one. So and to be honest, it's not actually that bad. But it, it does have its pros and its cons. So let's talk about its pros. Okay, first of all, which is a pro? It's, a, it's affordable. It's cheap. It's gonna get the job done. Basically, we 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 thought it's kind of gear. You get what you pay for. Actually, actually DM a camera store. I won't call their name. <laughs> in Lagos, and I told them, okay, I want to get an ND filter. How much will I need to get an ND filter? They told me 50k. 50k for what? ND filter. For glass, 50k. Ha! Huh? Basically, uh, I was like, Guinea for what? 50k? I said, no, 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 no. I'll just go to Jumia or place and I'll just get one for myself and it's going to actually work. So, that's the first pro. It's actually cheap compared to what other people try to offer you for like so absurd amounts of money. Now, two, most other indie filters, like cheap ones, they do offer color shifts. Like, if you put it over your camera lens, it's going to like do this tint green blue red tint depending on what on what kind of depending on the amount of this thing you do it it's going to like completely destroy your white balance and what your footage looks like this one doesn't offer that much of a tint it's actually pretty much the same you, you obviously you, you can always adjust the color in post it doesn't offer that drastic of a tint where, where most other ones just be like boom it's going to completely destroy your white balance or everything and three which is the one of my favorite parts it's variable. Like I said, you see the little ring here. Like I said, as I said before, if you look at this, you can see that I can turn it and increase the amount of density that I want, right? You see that? 
unlike the ones that are not variable, you just is this particular level throughout. You can't change it. This one you can actually adjust it depending on what you want to shoot. But maybe if the lighting, maybe you're shooting outdoors, the lighting changes. You can just simply twist the you knob. Oh, it's too dark. Make it brighter. Oh, it's too bright. Make it darker. Simple. Now, obviously, to any kind of product, there's a con. And to this one, the con is actually the build quality. Not that it's actually made of plastic or rubber. Actually, if you can listen, I don't know if you can hear it. It's actually made of metal, aluminium, I presume. So, basically, the build quality is that it doesn't have like hard stops, right? So, if you can. Hold on. If you guys can see here right now, look at this. Like, I don't know when I'm turning to the max or when I'm not turning to the to the minimum or when I'm turning to the max or minimum. I, I just keep going and just basically eyeballing it to know that okay, okay, it's dark. I can keep going. It's gonna turn back around. I don't know, but I don't really like that. I would like to know that okay, from this point to this point, if if, if I turn here, it's going to lock. I turn here, it's going to lock, and that's not actually a very useful it's not actually a very good thing and two the filter can actually offer a, a bit of vignetting what's a vignette you know that those black bars are the edges of the video this filter can actually offer that a bit if you go to like the really really hard stops the really, really dark place you can see a little bit of vignette in the corners which is um i mean <laughs> it's not like if it's terrible but like People will say that oh you don't want it, they want to sort something that will dark in the image. And that you actually can't remove that in post. I mean, it's a really big thing, so you can't remove that in post. I'll be if there is, please tell me. I don't know. And the third one, this is actually just me. I'm I'm just like you know picking and chimping on it. You get I wish this came in a bag, like a small carrying case, because instead of having to always carry this this thing everywhere you go in because it's, this, 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 this is like what it comes it comes in this it comes in this case so like um carrying this every, every, everywhere you're going is not advisable so obviously like it came like this maybe small zipper bag that you can just you know whoop, slide inside but it doesn't come with that so oh, that's it for me i think i'm done the filter actually works fine for me. I've used it in some situations as you could as you have probably seen in the video I've showed. And like it's useful. For me, it works fine. I, I don't see a reason to like get so one that is so expensive right now. I actually ordered I actually ordered another filter, a KNF concept um any filter for my bigger lens, the one I'm, I'm using to record now. And leave a comment below if you guys want to see a comparison between this one and that one when it does come but that's it for me guys alex is here this is the dynamic range do you have an nd filter or do you want to get an nd filter and which one will you get leave a comment below don't forget to like subscribe and share this video i'll see you guys in the next one